Hi, everyone. Welcome to the final session of Stella Live 2021, a workout for your face. I'm Annabelle Jones. I am the beauty editor at large at The Telegraph, and I'm so happy to be here today with Inga Tharong, who is the founder of Face Gym, and she'll be leading a live 45 minute session, a workout that you can follow along to at home. So without further ado, I'd love to welcome onto the stage Inga Tharong. Hi everyone. Hi Inga, how are you? I'm good, how are you? This is Saturday, rainy Saturday morning. Yes, 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 yes. Really excited about the workout today. Um, before we, uh, before I hand over to, to let you do your thing, I just thought we would have a little bit of a chat about for those people who don't know what Face Gym is, um, if you could just explain the concept and how you got started and also how you've sort of evolved um, the at-home uh, portion of the business, which is thriving at the moment. Oh, yes. So, hi, everyone. I'm actually very jealous. I've seen Wendy's in Mauritius. <laughs> so, Wendy, that's like so unfair. We're very jealous over here. <laughs> So um, Face Gym, um, I'm 45 now, about, when I was, I was about 35 years old, I was writing for the Financial Times, a, a, a spa columnist, going you know, around the houses, trying to find a solution for myself, but obviously also bringing all the latest beauty um, uh, secrets to my, to my readers. And I just felt really underserviced. On the one side, I had these incredibly expensive, two hour long, really sort of product heavy facials. Um, which again, only the results only lasted for 48, you know, 45, 48 hours. And I always felt like, you know, it's just a, a way to sell me tons and tons of products. Yeah. And then the other alternative was just, you know, dermatologists and they wanted to do threads and facelifts and brow lifts because apparently I look angry. And it was just so aggressive. And I was like, but hang on. There must be something in the middle. I mean, we're all going into summer now. I've got a few pounds to lose. I'm not going to go for a tummy tuck. I'm just going to, you know, reduce uh, some of my wine intake, or I'm just going to potentially eat a little less sugar. And that's what Face Gym is. Face Gym is a, a more holistic approach to to aging. It's more about enjoying aging. You know, looking the best version of yourself, whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And it's really um, thinking about the more than skin that's going from within. And thinking about those those muscles, we call them the scaffolding. There's 40 something muscles in your face. And up until face gym, really, very few people were talking about it. You just lather on tons and tons of skin care. And that's not going to help you get that really useful toned skin. So that was basically it. And like you said, during during lockdown, uh, with all our studios closed, we had to come up with a new concept. So we deconstructed what we did in what we do in studio, and it's been such an epiphany to empower our community with simple techniques that really work. I mean, they work even better than my wildest imagination. If you if you look at some of the the posts that are happening in in um, the Instagram, the Face Gym Instagram, the 14 day challenge. Yeah. Women and men are changing their faces, real women, real men, just with their hands. Uh, yeah. No fancy creams, no fancy potions, nothing. Just taking the time for yourself because you deserve it. And that's what's so rewarding about being in this business right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's all about that consistent firming of the muscles, just like we would do with our body. I love the concept. Well, I'm going to hand over to you now to show us what we should be doing at home. And I have my product with me, so I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do it along with you. Oh, so, good. I'm so yeah. excited. I'm going to um, head off from the screen now and I'll be back at the end to ask Inga some questions from our viewers. So, uh, yeah. So, hi, everyone. Hi, Rona, Nina, Sybil, Angela, Jan. Sybil's back. Karina, I'm so happy to see you but not see you. Um, you know, we're gonna. I'm gonna teach you um, a full face workout today. Warm up, cardio sculpting, cool down. You can see I'm in my bathroom. There's no frills. And so, for all of you who are joining us today, and I'm gonna do the full face workout. Just a couple of bits of hygiene. Let's make sure our um, our nails are short because otherwise you could end up scratching yourself. Make sure your hands are clean. Uh, that's really important. What are you gonna need for today? You're gonna need a nice headband. Otherwise, you can get oil in your hair need a cleanser i'm going to tell you about my great cleanser but you can obviously use um, any cleanser that you've got ideally a gel cleanser works best and i um, ideally something that that has a lovely um lather to it as well 
Um, I'm also going to be using this fantastic oil serum. Please make sure if you are joining along, it's not a dry oil because that'll actually dry too quickly. We're looking for something with lots of playtime. I'm going to be using the Youth Reformer. I'll tell you about that later too. And if you guys are regular face gemmers, then if you've joined my class before, bring your face gem ball because we're going to start with some lymphatic drainage too. Okay. So if you're new to face gym and you're new to facial exercise, if there's just one thing that I could tell you guys and I can leave with you today is that you don't need 35 minutes in the morning and 35 minutes in the evening to change your face. Really, you know, we, life happens. We've all got kids and life and work or loved ones. And so all I'm saying is five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, that's 70 minutes do a, a week and that will change your face. Today's a really simple beginner's class, so it's not going to be too difficult. If you just absorb a few of these moves every morning, whether you do it with your cleanser, uh, you know, this will really, really help you. And if some of you really love it, I'll um, also give you all the links. We do five classes a day at Face Gym. We do full face hit, lip plump and pump. We've got a lower facelift. We've got eye classes. So, there's no excuse for you not to potentially carry on as well. Also, if you've forgotten some of these moves, um, every one of our face gym products actually has the workout routine designed for it because we design our products and our, our workouts together. So your workout will be in the back of your pack. Every single product that we have has its own workout. So, you know, don't worry if you forget something. I bought a jade roller, but I'm not sure how to use it. Can you help? Well, we're not going to do jade rollers today, but um, we've got a multi-sculpt, Caroline, which is a wonderful tool. Um, if you go to facegym.com, you can actually find a class that can teach you how to use that. Is everybody ready? Yeah? Okay. So we're going to start with some lymphatic drainage. So these are your supra calabricas. I call them the supras. So this is really good. We're going to pulse just over here. Very, very light. This is for your lymphatic system. We all drink a little too much red wine. We all just eat a little bit too much salt, too much sugar. And that causes us to have some uh, puffiness and um, water retention. So if you, if you don't have a face gym ball, just gently pulse. This is going to help us because we're going to be doing so much draining throughout the, the workout. And if you don't open up your lymphatic system over here, it's got nowhere to go. So that's really, really important. If you do have a face gym ball, this is excellent. You just roll it from side to side and just lightly pulse. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody see me? Wave at me. And if you want me to repeat something or explain something, by all means, I'm, I'm checking the bar. Okay, so that's just sort of opening. Try and always do a little bit of lymphatic drainage. Okay, Wendy in Mauritius, of course she's all good. She's in Mauritius. Okay, so then still with your hands, let's just do a little bit of feather light. So you might think, oh my God, Inga, that's not going to do anything for me. I want to sculpt. Trust me, this really light lymphatic drainage is so, like, it's a workhorse. You should, you don't understand how good it is for your actual facial appearance and how important it is to remove that puffiness. We're going to just go up again from the cheek now as well and just pulse. And then go around the ear and we're just going to do a little J, J. Remember, you if you press too hard, you're going to crush that lymphatic system. So pulse. We scissor the ears. And then we go behind the ears and J. Okay. So everybody, let's start now. The reason why I wanted to teach you guys with, um, with cleansing today, I'm going to do quite a few moves, is because you all wash your face in the morning and the evening. And so if I can teach you just a few exercises to do while you're washing your face, I believe more of you will do it, and then you'll see better results. So 
I'm going to be using the Electrolyte uh, Face Gym Cleanser. It's a gel cleanser. It's got thousands of, um, of um, oxygen bubbles, and it makes a beautiful lather. If you don't have this one, by all means, use whatever you've got at home. You would just like to sort of see a little bit of frothiness. You need some slip time. So what makes Face Gym's cleansers really different is that most people, most brands don't actually put a lot of actives into their cleansers. Why? Because they're like, you're going to put it on and you wash it off. Face Gym's different because we spend so much time on the face during cleansing. I have put the kitchen sink into these products, electrolytes. We've got um, red clover extracts for red for, 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 for pores. Um, it's just brilliant, magnesium, calcium. So I actually believe that you really, really need to um, invest in your cleanser. Okay, so if everyone's ready, we're going to start knuckling. Now raise your hands if you don't wash your neck when you cleanse in the morning. Who doesn't wash their neck? Well, it's a big, big mistake. At 45, I really take care of my neck and I feel like it, you know, it shows because I, I really give it the time. So it's very important. We start with our little knuckles and we're going to knuckle up. You're going to get to the jaw area and spend a little bit of time here. If your cleanser is drying up, take some water because you want to get that lovely slip. We all have a lot more tension in our jaws at the moment. So make sure you get into that knuckling. Get into the center knuckling. And so we're going to knuckle from the nose out. Okay, and then we're going to get to the top. So you should be feeling a little bit of edema. You're using those knuckles. You're ironing out. You probably haven't felt how tight your frontalis muscle is. It could actually hurt because we're all spending way too much time on that. Uh, social media at the moment. Okay, so next, make an L shape with both of your hands. This is gonna be the L shaped drains. It's a little bit of lifting and a little bit of lymphatic drainage. Up, and then fair the light down, okay? Again. Fair the light down. Last one. Don't forget to breathe, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't actually seen the gentleman. Is there any boys in the house today? Wave at me. Last little one for luck. Okay, so you'll see I go up the face and then I go down the face. So now we're going to go back up the face. And we're all suffering from like pollen at the moment as well. Or, or sometimes you can have a fluey area. So I'm going to just quickly give you a couple of ideas as we're warming up to help you drain some of those toxins. So... Take your two fingers on either side of your nose and very delicately pulse. I've never actually done a class on my computer before, so I hope you guys can see this. Go pretty light because you're quite close to your eye area. Okay, let's just do this three more times. Two, three, and then watch me. We're going to do an eye sweep. I'll demonstrate and then you follow. So you go around your eyes, make a V, swing. Come around the eyes again, then you do at the bottom, swing. Okay, so it's V shape. Swing the other finger, hold, and scissor down. If you feel like you need a little bit more slip, get some more water and actually make a little bit more lather. Guys, ready? This is really, really good for your eye area. So here we go again. So we've done our little pulses and we go up. Use your index finger to pull your brow up. Follow with your other finger. Swing it down and then we do the pendulum swing. So that's really helping to drain very delicately Drain, hold, you can give your temples a bit of a rub, and then scissor. It's quite important that you, you activate your lymphatic system behind the ear and then feather light down again. Do you liking that? Do you get it? Hi, Neil. 
so happy to have a boy on board today. Let's do that again. So you're taking your finger, you're lifting your brow. You've got a V shape, you'll see. Then go under the brow again. So you've got that lovely lift. Swing it down gently, connecting the corners of your eye. And then this is where all the magic happens. That drain gently. Pull it up. Hi, Michael. Okay, want to do one more? Just so that you really can perfect it. So here we go. This is so good. It literally just gives you that wonderful brow lift. Pendulum. And gently. You know, this is the magic. That's all those late nights, babies, work, stress, a little bit of self-love on the temple, and go. Okay, so now we're going to be working down the middle of the face. We're going to start working on these little fine lines around the lips. We call these the, the, the lip scissor sweeps. So again, make sure you, put, you place your fingers correctly underneath your ear. And this is where you can start actually having a little fun in the bathroom in the morning. It's just you, so don't care what you look like. You've got to have a bit of fun. You've got to start your day lightly. Carry those brilliant minds of yours lightly. So obviously, the reason why we're doing all of this is to bring fresh blood flow. We're creating collagen. We're supporting our elastin. And if any of you think you look foolish and this is not going to work, I challenge you to go on Instagram, Facebook's Instagram, and see real people with the most incredibly real life-changing results. And all they've done is facial exercise. Some of them don't even come with, with skincare oil. They come with olive oil, which I'm not going to recommend, by the way. Again, if you're feeling a little tight, take a bit more water, take a bit more cleanser. As I said, I am obsessed. This has been made to the electrolytes are energizing. Okay, and then we're gonna do the palm sweeps. So you're gonna start chiseling. So again, up. Can you see how I grip my jaw? If you're feeling, if your cleanser's got a little bit dry, add a little bit of water like I just did. So you can see we're already starting to like chisel the jaw. We're going up. You should even be feeling a bit of a workout underneath your arms now too. Anyone struggling with this? Anyone enjoying it? Your hands are probably full of soap, so probably <laughs> wave at me later. So it's like a dance. I was so inspired because I spent a lot of time in Japan and I met this wonderful guru and uh, she had a 16 step exercise for her cleansing and it was just so beautiful. And for those of you who are suffering with a heavy lower jaw area, this, can you see that? That's all you need to do. And you can have quite a firm pressure here. You'll see we're going to do a lot in this area here. I'm working on all that extra tension that you can hold because of just modern day living. Okay. All right. So that's it for cleansing. So if you just do a few of these moves with your cleanser in the morning, you will see such a big difference. In fact, any of the, the, the exercises that I'm going to teach you today, you can incorporate into your cleanse. So I'm going to use a flannel, but if you have to quickly go and find a basin, I'm going to wait for you for a few seconds. So we want to just sort of clean off. So my cleanser actually has a lot of papaya, brightening, gentle brightening without stripping, uh, which is just wonderful. My pores are now really closed. So I feel really clean, but hydrated already. Okay, so you don't need to dry it bone dry. We want to keep a little bit of that damp. So I'm now going to go on to uh, our youth reformer oil. 
This is magic. It's um, got the right amount of dry time and slip time. It can be used for facial exercise, but it can also be used in your day to day routine. It's been enzymatically activated. Uh, so you basically take one, it gives you the exact amount that you need. So it, it gives you this wonderful play time, but it doesn't stay oily on your face. And for those of you who are a bit nervous of oil, this is probably one of the best oil products. And I'm not just saying that because I made it, but I've been in oil for six years and this is the best one we've ever made. And so it's half botanicals, half really, really powerful ex extracts like patchouli, which is really good for anti-stress, anti-redness. So, okay, just keep that on. And I'm going to show you guys a few, a few routines now, a little bit of resistance training as well. So this is called the fish pose. We're going to work on that neck, which is super important. As I told you, we always include the neck. Place your fingers on your collarbone. I'm going to demonstrate. You're going to pull your lip over your mouth. We really want to iron out some of those wrinkles. Feel your neck, and we're going to do fish pose. Okay, so you should feel those neck muscles. It's called the platysma. You should feel it stretch. As your muscles become strong, it, it helps to tone your skin around your neck. So again, Don't worry about looking foolish. You would potentially, I'm just looking at the time. We don't have that much time today, but I normally like doing about 20 of those. Really, really good for these little fine lines and wrinkles. And what you're trying to do with your mouth is, oh, oh, oh. You're working that zygomaticus, you're working around the mouth and you're working your platysma. Okay, so a little bit of resistance training again. We're gonna be working this lower area as we move up the face. Take the, um, Palm of your hand, gently place it. Breathe your air in and breathe out through your mouth, okay? Let's go. So you're breathing in and you're blowing out the opposite side where you placed your, your hand, okay? Here we go again. Ten more, you ready? That is serious. So this is not just about muscle manipulation. This is actually working and contracting your muscles as if you were doing a burpee or sit-ups. So this is just so good, if, especially for those boys out there who want to chisel. And for all the girls out there, this is really good to actually get some strength and to get a natural lift around the jaw. Ready for the next one? Place in. Don't forget to breathe. And let's go. Ten more. Breathe in. So you have one side probably felt better than the other side. That's normal. We have a strong side and a weaker side. That was my weaker side. So I would normally work up to about 50 of those, 25 on either side. So uh, that's a little bit of resistance training. We're going to keep moving up the face. I'm going to get a little bit more oil. And again, as I said in the beginning, make sure that you do this without long nails. I'm going to show you a bit of caterpillars. So I've got quite pronounced nasolabial lines, so this is a really good one for me. You just iron it out, just get in there, medium pressure. 
can also go over your lips. And we can take it up to the face too. So you can stay there for a couple of minutes longer. I'm doing a little bit of a fast track now because I can see the time. So slide, pull and slide, pull and slide, pull and slide. Let's do that again. Good job. And firm pressure, slide, slide, slide. Okay, so staying on the frontalis, we're going to do these little semicircles. This is working against the muscles, really good for wrinkles, fine lines. As I said, listen, face gym and facial exercise is not transformation. It's the best version of you. Um, you're not going to reduce all your wrinkles, but you're going to look great. At 45 now, everything moves, as you can see, but you, you know, it's just not aggressive, right? So that's what you get from doing regular facial exercise. So let's go again. If you're feeling a little dry, don't drag your skin. And I'm going to go back to the nasal labial with some flicks. So what we don't want to do here is just this. We want to get in there and twist, twist. Okay, another quick one while we're here, I'm gonna show you. These are little, it's called plucking. So we have this thing called fascia, which they never really talk to you about on your face and it can get really sticky. So this is really good to try and help and unblock that sticky fascia. And remember all of these moves are actually helping to, to bring fresh nutrients to the skin, make your skin feel healthy, glowy, more hydrated. And of course, as I said in the beginning, it also really helps for collagen, elastin. Just get your th cells moving. Is everyone still with me? Hi, Nancy. Ruth, oh, I'm happy it feels good. Mary in Cambridge, how are you doing? Oh my God, Ruth says she doesn't even cleanse in the morning. Ruth, that's terrible. Um, okay, so back, I'm going to add another little bit of oil because the, the one thing you never want to do is drag your skin. As I said, um, I'm using the Youth Reformer. It is phenomenal. It has got vitamin C in it as well. It's got a nootropic, so it's got this delicious palisanto smell, which is so, like, meditative at night. Okay, so... We're going to start doing our finger whipping. If you know anything about facial, this is one of our signature moves. Two fingers on the jaw, and we're going to start whipping. So if you come to some of our studios, you'll feel our trainers do this, and it feels like it's a machine, but you don't need to go that fast. And remember, it should never, ever hurt. We're just trying to really activate the blood flow down here. Cardio move, trying to detox. Remember, we'll be draining all of these toxins away and go gradually up. Be careful, don't go too close to the eye area. And this is just like being on a treadmill for your face. Just, you should be feeling a little bit red. That's good, it's edema. It means the blood's flowing. And then just go like that. Let's do the other side. As I said, it should never, ever hurt, and it should be a really good arm workout. Who's feeling their arms burn? And don't text me because that means you're cheating. Okay. Okay, so staying in the jaw area, I'm going to teach you a couple of moves for the jaw area. So we're going to start with a little uh, grip. Tight, dig your thumb under your jaw, under your chin. And so weird, because I'm going the opposite way to what I see.
By the way, I'm actually been recording this as well, and I'm going to put it up on my feed too. So just in case you did miss it, I'm going to have it on my Instagram too. Okay, so the secret here, ladies and gentlemen, Michael, and I think it was Nick, is that you want to get the pressure in here. And if you feel like you've got some tension, stick around, go in there, use your knuckles and actually exercise some of that, that jaw pain away. Because the more tense your jaw is, the more angry you can look. So it's really good to just get in there. Okay, let's, should we do the other side? This is just one of um, three jaw moves that we're going to be doing. So let's do another five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, flat, palm of your hands. And then just dig it in through there. A lot of you are worried that you're, you're not going to see some of these um, exercises. Just a reminder as well, as I said to you before, all of our products have the workouts and they've got much better teachers than me. And they tell you how to do it, how many moves to do, how many repetitions. So... What's great is there's just no excuse. Every time you come to the bathroom, it should be an opportunity for you to take your face to the gym. I think if the only other second thing you learn from today is that cleansing isn't just about removing impurities. Cleansing is an opportunity for you to tone, tighten, and lift. Moisturizing, same thing. Moisturizing, why would you just slap on your cream when actually you can slap on your cream and tone, tighten, and lift? Will this help acne? Actually, this particular oil is so good for acne. We've got some wonderful before and afters. So DM us at Face Gym and we'll, we'll give you some more information on that. As I said, it's been enzymatically activated. So um, we'll... Now, Susan, when it actually comes to facial exercise and acne, you have to be quite careful. So if you've got active acne, I would probably stay away from doing your facial exercises for a while, just until it sort of calms down. Karina is asking, why is organic olive oil not so good? Well, I mean, it's you, obviously, you know, organic olive oil is, 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 you can use it, but it can block some pores. So, um, and it doesn't, you know, it's, it's great, but if you can use something with some actives as well, uh, like we've got, you know, uh, um, plankton, which is really good for collagen production, vitamin C for brightening. We have patchouli extract, which helps to suppress cortisol, which makes you look tired. So it actually is like tricking your skin into thinking that it slept for eight, nine hours. Your arms are hurting. Good job. That means we've done a really good job. Okay, so the last one on the jaw still, we're going to make some knuckles. Plant them in. So you had this one, remember? And now we're going to use our knuckles. We have this wonderful gadget as well called the multi-sculpt, which is like a Swiss army knife. for It's like a, a workout in a tool. Um, so maybe, yeah, next time uh, we can sort of show you how to use that as well. So let's do another 10 of these. Can you do these moves if you have a small amount of Botox? So Siobhan, 50% uh, of our customers and community have Botox and 50% don't. So what we say is um, wait for at least two weeks for Botox and four weeks for fillers. Uh, but everybody uh, can do it. Absolutely. In fact, it's really, really good because while you do have Botox, your muscles are stagnant. So it's actually really good to move things around. 
So anything for frown lines. Okay, let's get to that actually at the end quickly. So let's do another 10 moves on the other side. I'm going to teach you a little something for frown lines. I actually wish I had my um, tool with me. Oh, I do. I, don't... I could show you how to do that too. How are we doing on time, ladies? Is there anything else that I could teach you? Before our time's up, I'm going to do this. So I just wanted to quickly show you a couple more moves. Still just finishing up on the jaw. Push up. Place your palms here and flick. This is just to really embed that lower jaw area. Uh, our stores are open. They're all open. We're in London, New York, LA. We've got five in the UK. Okay, so before we sort of start going into some individual requests, just want to show you how I'd like to also finish off. So go back to those L shapes. Go back in, sculpt, lift, down. Remember, when we do go down, the neck gets finger light. Okay, so someone said frown lines. So we use this, this gadget, which basically has these, um, it's called the multi sculpt And you literally just work the muscle like this. And especially for those 11 lines. If you don't have one of these, this is another good one. Place your hands, it's called the deadlift. On top of your brows and lift. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your, your eyes, your eye bone here, your brow bone to lift, your hands up. I know we look a bit ridiculous, but honestly it really works. Can you see? So that's really working that frontalis muscle. Do it 20 times. So your arms sore. <laughs> so that's a really good one. Okay, puffy eyes. So again, don't think any of you might have this one because it's still very, very new. But I put this in the fridge for puffy eyes and I basically use the little medium edge and I just drain. Because I know a thing or two about puffy eyes. I love a glass of wine. And my daughter is still very little and she wakes up at 2 a.m. The night that I've had the the bottle of wine, she'll wake up at 2 a.m. So trust me, I know a thing or two about puffy eyes. Alternatively, as I said earlier, the, this exercise where you can actually just use your fingers, that's really, really good for the draining because you're pulling it out from here and you're carrying all those toxins and then you're bringing it down to the lymphatic system. And remember when we opened up the lymphatic system, it's helping to drain from underneath the eyes and then it comes down the neck. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that was so good. I learned so many things, especially the cleansing my neck. Um, I thought, do I cleanse my neck? I'm not sure I do. It's okay. I just wanted to say, Karina, no, we're ab you absolutely are not lifting. You know, you're lifting your brow, and you're just using your fingers as a as a way to make sure you're doing the right thing. So definitely don't move it with your fingers. That's not going to work. You want your frontalis muscle to work. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Inga. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Um, okay, I think we'll, we'll get to, you answered quite a lot of the questions um, as you went along, but we have a few here. Um, Liz wants to know, does your sleep position affect your face? It's a tricky one, but I, I mean, I do, 
it's just, it's impossible. It's one of those things that I do believe that if you buy yourself a beautiful pillow, a uh, nurse Jamie has a gorgeous silk pillow. I was say, it, I've got that one, yeah. Yeah, so I think that works, but for some people it might just be an indulgent, like a step too far, in which case, you know, and I've tried it before myself. I'm like, I'm just going to sleep on my back. <laughs> That's like telling someone, don't laugh. I think you yeah, age it's so hard from, from laughing as you are from sleeping. So just don't don't sweat the small stuff. Do your exercises in the morning, and it'll just counterbalance anything that you um, that you thought about in the evening. Because otherwise, the stuff can really mess with your head. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sophie wants to know. Um, she has combination skin and she wants to know, will this activate my skin to produce more oil? The, the actual facial exercises? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, we, it really just depends, but that's why we use our cleanser, which is a sebum suppressant. It's got that red clover in it, which actually reduces the, the, the sebum. Um, so if that is one of your problems, and I strongly recommend the electrolyte cleanser, use that and that'll really balance it out because it's actually for people with oily skin. Or with over over overstimulated uh, sebum glands. Okay. Uh, let's see what else have we got here. You answered the question about frown lines, and Catherine also wanted to know how to take care of the vertical lines between your eyebrows. These elevens is. Yeah. Oh, so literally, I mean, this is the daddy. I, I don't. I feel like I'm on QVC now. I don't mean to be on QVC. <laughs> But literally, if you take your, if you take it, you could just iron this out. That's a really, really good way. The other way, if you don't have um, access to a tool, is you can frown in. Oh, that's frown so great. In like, so like you said, what? Yeah. Like or you know, and then startled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not getting stuck in just one position. No, you have to really, really frown and then look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah. And that can also really help. Yeah. So interesting. OK, let's see if we've got anything else. Do you recommend microneedling tools? Yes, I do. Actually, not. I, I, I actually like nano needling tools. Uh, it just really depends on how old you are and what your, what your issues are. If you've got heavy pigmentation, and as, as long as you go to a dermatologist, don't use anything above a 0 0.25 unless it's with a doctor. I, I absolutely have seen such terrible disasters and really depleted uh, skin barriers of people doing microneedling at home with really po powerful uh, um, acids and just hurting themselves. But yes, for it's a, like a collagen reboot. It's like getting new skin. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Um, uh, uh, Pat's asking, is the cleanser okay for older, drier skin? Absolutely. Pat, 45, driest skin on the planet. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, I think that's all we've got time for. Um, thank you so much, Inga, for joining us. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the session. I know I have. And uh, yeah, that brings us to the end of Stella Live 2021. Uh, so thank you so much um, for the past two days and we hope that all of you have a wonderful summer.